Hi folks, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to test the compression in a Victor two-stroke lawnmower. Now, you're gonna to wanna to test the compression when you've got spark, you've got good fuel, but for some reason, the engine's still not starting. Now, the trick with these engines is that most of the power torque engines have a decompressor, so we actually have to block that port off. But I'll demonstrate with and without blocking that port off. Also, you notice that I've got two mowers here. Now, whilst that one over to your right looks like a newer mower, its engine's actually had it and it's low on compression, whereas this one, it looks really ratty here. Actually, it's a good engine with good compression. So, looks can be deceiving, but we'll show you a true test today. We'll test on both mowers, a compression test, good and bad. Let's get into it. So to do the test, obviously you're going to need a compression tester, a 19 mil spanner to get the decompressor out. However, as you can see, I've got my Knipex pliers and that's because the thickness of my 19 mil spanner is simply too thick to get in on the decompressor, but I'll show you that in the video. And a spark plug tool to get the spark plug out. So to start with, what I'll do is I'll actually leave the decompressor in the engine head just to show you how it doesn't test the compression correctly. So I want to remove the spark plug boot, take the spark plug out with our spark plug tool. Just put that to one side and then we will wind in our compression tester just like this. And you can really just do this up finger tight because there's an O-ring which seals there. And then what I'll do is I'll just bring hopefully the gauge around into view. Now with that set up, what we do is we just pull the handle. Now, as I said, I've still got the decompressor in, but I just wanted to show you what happens with it still in. So as we can see, it is building compression, but it really only just builds to just below 50. Now let's see what happens if we take the decompressor out. So to take the decompressor off, you're going to want to remove that vacuum line to the carburetor. And then as I said, Technically, you would use a 19 mil spanner. However, as you can see, my spanner is simply too fat to get in there. But if I show you with this other decompressor that I've got a spare lying around, you can see it is actually the correct size spanner. But if I bring you around, you can see the thickness of my spanner is wider than the nut on the decompressor. So just using my Knipex pliers, these are actually half multi grip half pliers. I use them a lot and sometimes people comment but if you truly know what these are, you know what they are. Look them up, I'll throw in a link, but they are truly wonderful. So we can just get in there. They're a little bit thinner than my 19 mil spanner. So just undo that like that. Get that out like that. And we'll just pop that spark plug in that hole. It's very convenient. The spark plug is the same thread. Perhaps Victor did that intentionally. Or you know, testing the compression. And then we can pull the handle and test the compression again. So straight away you can feel the compression and you can see on the first pull it actually has gone over 50. So there we go. So you can see a fraction of the difference. Pulling the handle, it's now up over 50. Whereas with the decompressor valve in, it wouldn't go up to 50 previously. And obviously when you finish testing the compression, you simply take your compression tester out, take that spark plug out, which we temporarily put in the decompressor hole and pop it all back together the way it was. So spark plug back in. Pop that boot on and put our decompressor back in the hole. Do it up snug, no need to actually over tighten things. Pop that vacuum line back on. So let's do a comparison, test the compression on this engine, which we know is actually bad. So to start with, pop the spark plug out, get our tool. Get the vacuum line off our decompressor, get that off out the way. Pop the spark plug in the decompressor hole. Just nip that up. No need to over tighten. And get our compression test tool and thread it in and bring it round into a good position where we can see the compression. And let's pull the cord on this one. 
So there you go, you can see by comparison, I pulled it three times and it's only just going above 25. So clearly we can see that's the reason this engine won't start, simply doesn't have enough compression to make it run. So there you go folks, that's how to test the compression on your two stroke Victor lawnmower. And you can see we've tested on two different lawnmowers here today. This one right alongside me was good, compression over 50 PSI, but the one to your right over there would hardly make 25 PSI, and that's why the engine won't run. If you like what you've seen here today, do hit that like button, it's truly appreciated. Drop a comment down below, we love reading through all those comments. And if you're interested in DIY maintenance on around the home, or on vehicles, or on lawnmowers, do remember to hit that subscribe button. In the future, we may actually film a video where we swap this good engine off of this ratty base onto that really nice newer base. If you're interested in that, look out for it in the future. But until next one, have a good evening.